Here we have the smash that has a series of modifiers. We see that there's a bevel at the beginning and then there's about 32 Boolean modifiers and then there's a mirror and a weighted normal. And while this looks cool as a stack to be looking at in your hops helper, it is a little dense. So we've added an option that basically allows you to stack Boolean modifiers into a geometry node modifier, allowing you to consolidate your stack in an easy and concise manner. There are some rules to it, of course. For example, whenever you are using exact modifiers, there's an option to use the exact modifiers in the geometry nodes. However, geometry nodes don't actually have an option for them. We see now that this op operation has completed that we have bevel, 33 booleans in the form of a geometry node modifier, hop smear, and weighted normal. The first thing I want to go over is that if you press Q and you try to go under modifier scroll and go under boolean scroll, that it's just not going to happen. There are no booleans to recall because this is a geometry node modifier. We press shift tab and we scroll back through our modifiers just to enable everything. And we also see that geometry nodes is significantly more heavy on the system. So using them as a medium for consolidation in the middle of working is probably not the greatest idea. I cannot stress how experimental of a concept this is. In fact, I'm beginning to find some irregularities with geometry nodes themselves that makes this a very unique concept. So one of the things I do want to cover is that when it comes to revealing your objects, if you shift click, you are able to reveal your booleans that were contributed in the making of this geometry node. So it will search through a geometry node stack in order to bring it back. And the reason I use this particular example is because it was so strangling on the computer. I want to showcase that this can truly bring your computer to a standstill. I tried compressing a hundred booleans and it was just not having it. I walked away from the computer, came back, it did happen. But just letting you know that if it doesn't work well on your computer, it is something that is probably one of the growing pains of geometry nodes, which is why it's a little premature for us to be introducing such things. But it was a task on the board that I wanted done for reasons. And I'm happy to see that it is able to exist in this world. So without further ado, stack, in the form of geometry nodes. So let's right click and cancel out of this scroll, which as we see is taking a moment. Just geometry nodes is just one of those things right now that's just new and experimental and I'm sure that there's many optimizations to be had. But probably the biggest question that you have with stack is can you unstack? Well, yes you can. If we hover over it, we see that clicking it is a stack mode. All clicking is an unstack mode and basically shift is a modifier which will basically stack all booleans or unstack all booleans. So depending on if you have exacts in your stack, it will perform a break where basically it will stack all the fast modifiers up to the first exact and then you can stack the next ones after that one up to the next exact and so on, allowing you to preserve the functionality of exact without breaking it through geometry nodes. But I'm going a little too in depth with this. Let's alt click and we have now unstacked all of these modifiers, allowing us to go back to work in a traditional manner where basically we can you know, go through Boolean scroll, modifier scroll. We can press tab to go into the expanded UI, go over to Boolean scroll and roll through it, which is something you cannot do when you convert it into a geometry node stack. This is important to keep in mind, but just letting you know that at any time you can now go in your add modifiers and just choose to stack and unstack and depending on your computer and the particular modifiers you have in place and what it's having to go through, it's either going to take a quick second or you'll find yourself going through a brief hold like you're seeing me go through. But afterwards, we're just going to jump over to the geometry node stack and we have to select the geometry node, but this is the modifier stack that was just created. So obviously creating a stack of this magnitude is going to take some time, but its uses will definitely become a thing in the future as I begin showing its use with ads and the reason that I even wanted to be able to deal with booleans in the geometry node stacks but I'm pretty sure people who are actually a little bit more capable with geometry nodes than myself are already thinking of all the applications that this opens up to them but with that I will just cut this short and move on to the next section